Welcome, Valentino. Welcome back to YMR, and um, also congratulations on uh, being here today, the kind of official start of your 12th season with the Yamaha MotoGP, which is very, very impressive. And obviously, you've already ridden uh, the 2017 M1. You rode it both in uh, Valencia and then also in Sepang. So we're kind of curious today. I'd like to, to have a chat with you and find out your impressions, not only about the bike, but also about uh, other things in your life, in your planning, looking ahead to 2017. For sure. So yeah, as I said, you're starting um, you know, your 12th season in, uh, with, with, with Yamaha, but more than that, you've done more than 20 years in, in, in the championship altogether with the different classes. I mean, how do, you, how do you every year get that motivation and that drive to continue? What, what's, the, what's the secret? Yes, it's, it's, it's always difficult, no? And, uh, but I don't want to say that every year is more difficult. Mm. Uh, I think that you have some uh, different uh, part of your career, mm. no? Uh, this, part, uh, m m this part of my career is uh, starting from 2013, when I come mm. back uh, in Yamaha. Sure. Uh, and also changed in 2014, because I changed the chief mechanic, uh, mm. and I start to work with, uh, with Silvano. Yeah. Uh, and is another one, you know, uh, but uh, I feel good, uh, I feel uh, concentrated with the good motivation, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that what makes the difference is the passion for mm -hmm. riding the motorcycle mm -hmm. and also for my work. So go on the track, uh, work with my team, work with Yamaha. Uh, it's always a great pleasure and I like a lot. Mm -hmm. And you rode the bike, uh, obviously you've done four days now, um, comparing 16 and also 17. From your impression so far, the 17, what, what are the strong points, you would say, of the new bike? I think that now uh, um, is, is different the work, also because the, the, the rules remain more or less the same. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, we arrive already to a very high level of performance of our bikes. Mm -hmm. Uh, so now we have to, to work on the, on the small details, mm. uh, especially we have to work uh, on, the, on the second half of the race, uh, where we suffered a little bit uh, last year with the, with the Michelin. Mm. Uh, but the impression is good. Mm. Uh, the engine is a bit faster. Mm. And especially uh, in the second test, we work more on the chassis and uh, we, we find uh, some uh, higher level, a little bit more margin for mm. improve. Mm. And surely after those two days, I mean, uh, these are some of, the, some of the positive things, but I know you and I know all riders, they always want more. So you must have given the engineers some homework at the end of those two days of uh, two sessions. What did you ask them to do in these winter tests? For me, we have, uh, we have to, to work in, in, uh, in the acceleration from the corner and uh, under, uh, especially with the electronics. Mm. Uh, I think that uh, our engineers are very good under that point of view and uh, I think that uh, we have uh, some more potential from, from, uh, to, to take from the bike. Okay, so we'll see. So they all work at this. Work the on the we'll yeah. find out soon enough in Sepang whether they uh, did it or not. And obviously from your side, uh, you know, the last three seasons have been, uh, I can say, excellent seasons. Uh, you've been three times second. <laughs> uh, for sure, for sure you want to put an end to that and you want to step up. Uh, what, can, what can you do more? How can you step up? I think that uh, win the championship in this moment of my career is mm. like a dream mm. and uh, is something very, very important. Mm. But uh, also at the same time is also very difficult. Mm. For me, the, 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 the most important thing for this year is uh, anyway, be fast, be competitive and uh, try to fight for the victory in every races and uh, try, try to be there in the first group, you know, and after we see. It's uh, three times uh, second, yeah. under one point of view, is good. Is, is, uh, under one point of view is quite <laughs> negative because they never win, yeah. but uh, it's more positive than negative because uh, anyway, stay there and the fight for the championship in the last three seasons is, uh, is something very important. Mm -hmm. And from, you know, this is from your side, but from Yamaha's side, is there anything that we can do more? Is there anything the team can do more to, to help you be there and to make uh, the difference? For me, uh, we did a, a fantastic job. Uh, Yamaha did a fantastic job at the end of 2014. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2015, uh, we continued to work in the right way and we had clearly the best bike mm -hmm. on the grid. In fact, we, we won a lot of races and we arrived first and second in the championship. Mm. Uh, last year, 
I think that uh, the bike anyway remain very competitive, but in the second part of the season is like uh, the, our competitor improve more yeah. than us. So under this point of view, I think that we have to, to stay concentrated, uh, put some positive pressure on our engineer and try to improve. Yeah. Okay. We, we will try for sure, yeah. do our best. And in my opinion, you know, if I, if I look back over your career, and if I, I don't like to compare with other riders, but when I look at some other situations, you know, one of your strong points has been you've always kept the same group, the same team around you. Will that be the same again this year? Yes, yes, yes. I agree with you. I always point a lot on this. For me, it's important. I have a, I have a very good group. Mm. And uh, I have the same team uh, from uh, 2000. Mm. Uh, some uh, changes during the season, but uh, during the, the years, but at the end the group is the same mm. and will remain the same. Mm. Okay. And I know that uh, obviously to, to stay competitive, you know, these days there's, there's no chance um, at all to have a weak weekend. As soon as you have a weak weekend, you lose a lot of points because so many riders are competitive. So that means your training has to be optimum. Are you going to change anything in your training routine for next year? Allora, is, is, uh, the important is always uh, improve something and modify some details, you know, because uh, since the year by year, uh, under this point of view, uh, we always work more. Mm. But uh, more than, no, more is not the right word. Try to work better. Yeah, in a more know? optimal way, exactly. more efficient way. Exactly. So, doesn't change a lot this year, from mm. last year, but uh, we have something to mm. try to make it uh, better. Some, some small difference, yes. Okay. But at the end, the, the preparation is similar. Preparation is similar. Okay. And obviously one change going into next year is going to be a new teammate. So, um, young guy coming in, Maverick, obviously done two years uh, already in MotoGP. Um, you know, he's been very, very fast in the winter tests so far. We've had four days of testing and he's always been there. What's your opinion so far of watching him, seeing him on the bike? So uh, at the beginning, uh, I, I, I hope that uh, uh, Vinales is uh, uh, a little bit uh, smaller problem compared to Lorenzo. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, mm -hmm. from the mm -hmm. first test, he, mm -hmm. was, uh, he was very strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that uh, Yamaha have, have uh, a very good team for mm -hmm. this year, no? Because uh, you have uh, very different riders. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially Maverick is the younger and I am the older. <laughs> uh, it means that uh, you can have uh, the crazy, the speed uh, and uh, the fresh mm -hmm. of, the, of the younger mm -hmm. uh, together with the experience, uh, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, of the older, or maybe just the experience. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> but anyway, no, no, I think it's a good team mm -hmm. and uh, in Yamaha I'm used to have a very strong uh, teammate. Mm -hmm. This is the, the way of the team, mm. I think is the right way. Mm. And uh, under some, one point of view, is more difficult. Mm. But uh, under the other point of view, is a great motivation for give the maximum. Mm. So you can say, while he'll clearly be a rival, at the same time, he is also in your mind a teammate to help the team move on and to help get the best performance. Yeah, for sure. Uh, first of all, you have to, be, to, to have a, a good respect, mm. uh, one way and the other. Mm. And, uh, and uh, like you said, it's very important to work in the same way uh, and uh, try to improve the bike. Yeah. Try to improve the bike and try to make the bike always more competitive and try to arrive first and second in the championship. Yeah. <laughs> we should try. We have a good chance, in my opinion. We have a strong, strong team for next year. And um, if you would give any advice, apart from go slot, <laughs> would you have any advice at all to give to your new teammates? Uh, I, I, try, I try to give to him uh, advice on the other riders, uh, but I don't try to. I try to don't give to him uh, advi yes. important advice. Oh, no, fast. <laughs> no. I mean, he's always very fast. Allora, about the Vinales don't don't need uh, because he's always is already very strong and is ready because he's coming from two years from another factory bike. He know the way to work in a factory team. And uh, for him, I think that uh, he, he will be very strong because um, for him, is, everything is better. You know, he make uh, the step, yeah. the bike, Stepping the team. Up. So yeah. in our team, uh, we work well, uh, we work at, at 100%. So I hope, uh, I hope uh, that uh, don't become too fast. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So in the past, Vale, I mean, uh, even when you began with us uh, several years ago, you know, I could say you used to be just a rider. 
just about yeah, yeah, some writer. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, when you are really focusing only on writing, that's that's already a big, um, should we say, uh, impegno, a big yes. uh, um, load, should we say. But now, you seem to be doing so many activities. I mean, even your training has stepped up so much. You're in the gym, you're in the ranch, you're in... You're in Misano as well. You have the VR46 Academy. You have your company doing the apparel. You have also <laughs> the Yamaha Academy. You have so many activities. Um, do you not find that tiring or, or do they give you extra motivation and drive? Uh, at the beginning, we try to start step by step mm -hmm. because for me, the most important is uh, be fast mm -hmm. on the bike. You know? sure. uh, but uh, with, with the time, with the years, I discovered that for me, it's not a lot. Uh, sincerely, uh, the real pressure is uh, uh, here, mm. when you go on the track, mm. when you go on, on, the, on the race, mm. try to give the maximum, this is a, mm. a big pressure. But the rest is very easy mm. and it is also well, you have positive. Good, you have a good team as well, you have a very good uh, group around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah really because for us uh, it's uh, all with the friend, you know. Mm. Sure. And uh, we work with the, with the young riders mm. and this is very beautiful and very yeah. positive. Yeah. And uh, we improve a lot of the training, like you mm. said, the range, Misano, etc., etc. Mm. But uh, it's funny. Mm. It's not. Uh, it's not a work. Mm. Also because the hard work, the other guys. Do. The other guys. I yeah. have the rider. I can. <laughs> good, good excuse. But, <laughs> exactly. but also the boss. I know. Also the boss. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, one of those activities that uh, we initiated together between uh, yourself and Yamaha last year was the Master Camp, which uh, effectively was where we brought over five people, and this uh, last year was from from Asian region, um, and they experienced the life of an academy rider. I mean, yeah. that was a new project, and uh, how, you know, how similar was that to what your academy riders do? You know, was it very close or was it different? You know, can you tell us a little bit more? Ah, it's, um, it's exactly the same mm. at the master camp for, uh, for, uh, for uh, the riders. Is uh, uh, what we do in one week, mm. Uh, put in three, four days, yeah. you know, yeah. concentrate, uh, concentrate yeah. in yeah. four or five days. Yeah. I think it's great and I'm very, very proud uh, uh, to be together with the Yamaha in this project uh, because I think that this, this can be also my future mm -hmm. and uh, for us uh, it's, uh, it's great to try to find uh, uh, some uh, younger rider and, and uh, try to make them uh, strong enough for the Yamaha, you know, yeah. so yeah. this is good. And also uh, about the Asian rider, mm -hmm. Is uh, we we find uh, a, f a good, uh, a positive uh, things mm. and uh, fast riders also. Mm. And I think that one mm. uh, doing this season mm. uh, makes something with us. So we, we, we will do something together, but uh, it's a surprise. Okay. So we have to wait and see a little bit longer to find out. <laughs> exactly. Okay, that's good. You know, one of the things that that I liked about the master camp was was the interaction also between the, the young Asian riders that came over and your own academy guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I was really surprised that the, the academy guys, they really sort of opened, uh, opened up to them and welcomed them in, but also they were giving them very, very good tips and advice and everything. This was really good. I think it was good for the academy guys as well. As for the it's, it's, it's not easy, like you said, yeah, yeah. but, uh, you know, we try to uh, work on our uh, guys of the academy also under this point of view, because we don't want that now they are uh, uh, world championship riders and now they are. To keep their feet on the ground. Yeah, we we, we, we want to try to uh, to take them on the ground. Mm. And also the master camp was was a great experience. Sure. No? Mm. And uh, I also like because they mm, they put the passion yeah. for, for help the other riders. Yeah. And uh, this is this is the way of the academy. You know? yeah. So it uh, was, was good. And we also enjoy a lot. Mm. Yeah, no, that's nice. And also, um, you know, I think, uh, in my opinion, there's a good future. Right now, we did this master camp for the first year for the Asian region. We didn't decide yet. You know, Yamaha didn't decide exactly what they're going to do for um, 2017. Sure, we will do two master camps. Okay. But do you think it's a concept that could be even more international? Ah, for sure. Future? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we make Asia mm. because for Yamaha is mm. very important. Sure. But uh, it's something that can work uh, all, all around the world, for sure. Mm. Because uh, for me, uh, we, not we, we study, but we, we use a program during the year with me mm. uh, that uh, helps a lot. 
uh, older rider for uh, for growing up and be stronger mm -hmm. and be faster and be at the top, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, we saw this uh, with our experience. Sure. So it's good to, to move, uh, to, to use this program also for other riders. Yeah. No, I, I, I hope that we can expand it also to, to Europe, to maybe Australia, for sure. America, South yeah. America. Yes, for yeah. sure in Asia it's more difficult, mm -hmm. no? Mm -hmm. Because uh, the, the culture of, uh, of the motorsport is a little bit in delay, no? Sure. Now they have a great passion, yeah. but if you stay in Europe, if you stay in Australia, you have also more, uh, yeah, more history, more history, more knowledge, yeah. more, yeah. more experience yeah this is true coming on to a little bit of fun stuff because you know we've talked a lot about uh, the moto gp and about uh, the academy yes. and so forth but you know there's more to life than just motorcycles and i know that one of your passions is obviously uh, driving cars as well um especially rally and uh, congratulations on the recent double victory Grazie. In, uh, Grazie. Thanks. in the monza rally which was fantastic do you have any plans to do more rally driving uh, for instance in the future allora um, i want but sincerely now I prefer to be concentrated uh, in, the, in the MotoGP during the season. Mm. And after, if uh, I find something uh, out of the season, like the Rally of Monza, mm. for sure. Mm. Uh, but uh, it's always uh, quite heavy, mm. you know? Uh, but uh, I hope uh, when uh, I will stop with MotoGP to make some years also with the cars mm. that uh, is, uh, is uh, more uh, comfortable, you are seat. Yeah. Also, if you are old, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, uh, but the Rally of Monza is always mm. like yeah. this, uh, and mm. in the past uh, I did some other races. Uh, yeah. I like a lot the, the cars, yes. Mm. But the motorsport in general. For instance, uh, what about the car? Because the car is something very topical at the moment. You know, we're watching in the, the race in South America. And I don't mean on a motorcycle. I mean, uh, no, no, talk no, about no. On, 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 on the car. On the car. Yeah. Have you ever thought about that? Is that something interesting for you in the future? It's, uh, it's one goal, yes, uh, to try to do the, the car in the future. Mm. Uh, but it's very, very hard. Yeah. Uh, you have to be well prepared. Yeah. And, uh, and for sure with the car, because mm. with the motorcycle is uh, really dangerous. Yeah. We will see, but uh, you know, um, I'm more more concentrate on the 24 hour of Le Mans. Mm. Uh, is the first goal because uh, on the track I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. maybe when I will stop with the uh, with the bike, yeah. maybe mm -hmm. we, we can have time. Yeah. Talking of track, what about uh, Formula One? I mean, I remember well because it was way back in I think 2006. Yes. When, in my opinion, we almost lost you to Formula, <laughs> yeah, yeah, to yeah. Formula One because. Uh, <laughs> You know, we, we had our first contract and yeah. uh, I remember at one time then you and your manager, you requested us, next contract, let's do just one year because we're not sure about our future. But fortunately, you decided to stay with motorcycles, so I was happy for that. But does Formula One still remain fascinating for you or do you ever have any regrets about that decision? Or No, I'm, uh, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I think uh, that was the right decision. Uh, also because... Uh, after 2006, I remained in MotoGP and I won another two championships and especially great races, great battles, so I'm, I don't have any regrets. But uh, I, I like a lot Formula One, for sure. And uh, every one moment where I say, okay, we'll try, we, we try, mm. try to, uh, to understand what's happened. So we make some tests, we go to Valencia, make a test together with the others. Mm. And I remember in the flight back from Valencia to, to Rimini, mm. I said, uh, I, 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 I'm not ready to Fortune, stop, to stop with motorcycles. <laughs> and it was the right choice, with yeah. the right choice. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's good, that's good to know. And um, forgetting wheels, I also know that you're a keen snowboarder and uh, this winter I saw that you were up in Madonna di Campiglio. You gonna have any more time for that this winter or is it now just focused on... I wanna try to make another, uh, another weekend mm. uh, if make the snow because I have uh, just artificial snow. Yeah, I like true. a lot uh, stay in the mountain yeah. because uh, from when I was uh, very young, always yeah. my family bring me in the mountain, put the ski when I was like this, yeah. you know, now I go with the snowboard, but uh, it's great. We have a good uh, group of friends yeah. there. Uh, but usually the project yeah. now yeah. is always come back, yeah. but after uh, start, and after yeah, you, you don't easy. have uh, any more time. time. Yeah. But anyway, I, I do like uh, eight to nine days. Mm. So it's already not so oh, bad. Awesome. It's already not so bad. Yeah. Good, good, good. Well, I'd like to really just kind of say, to wrap it up, to say, you know, on behalf of uh, Yamaha, Yamaha Network and all the fans, uh, Yamaha MotoGP fans, you know, a big uh, good luck for this season. And in Bocca Lupo, I think you say in Italian, and... Uh, I can just tell you that uh, you have the full support of Yamaha and all of the fans, and we'll do everything we can to 
try to get you that tenth title you deserve. Crepi lupo, si dice in italiano, later. Thanks a lot. And uh, for me, it's great. And uh, I will try at the maximum, uh, also more than the last years, for, uh, for try, for try. <laughs> okay. Grazie. Thanks. 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 Thanks.